Welcome to this week's McConnell Flyby. I'm Senior Airman Trevor Ryans. Not many people take the time to fully plan a trip, but when the 22nd Air Refueling Wing executes its mission, even the smallest detail is taken seriously. Senior Airman Darrell Sid Nord tells us about the 22nd Operations Support Squadron doing just that. All right, let's set this up. At the heart of the United States, Kansas is a melting pot of various weather conditions. Things can change from sunny and clear to frozen and windy at a moment's notice. That's why senior airman Chris Baguette and other airmen of the weather flight always have an ear to the wind to know what's coming next. The pilots need to know ahead of time so that way they can plan their route, the most efficient route. Um, if they need to delay, whether it be for weather or another issue, without weather forecasting, the job would be very difficult for the pilots as well as the ground crew Senior Airman Baguette says weather is just part of the total picture, but a very important factor in keeping McConnell's refueling mission in the air. A lot of things just have to line up perfectly for each refueler to get off the ground, go refuel the aircraft, and then come back all in one piece and safely. Senior Airman Darrell Sidnor, McConnell Air Force Base, Kansas. Speaking of refuelers, the final roofing beam for the third hangar to house the new KC-46 Pegasus took place last week. The contractors hosted a topping ceremony signifying that all structural steel has been put in place and the building is structurally sound. This is the last of three hangars being built for the new refueler, with 25 million pounds of steel going into all three. That's your McConnell flyby. I'm Senior Airman Trevor Rines.